prioritized strategies. A good way to handle the aging population is adapting the healthy aging concept at all levels of society, from policy implementation to our own thinking. To foster healthy aging, the World Health Organization proposes five prioritized strategies. They include first, commit to action. Second, align health systems to the needs of older populations. Third, develop age-friendly environments. Fourth, strengthen long-term care. And fifth, improve measurement, monitoring, and research. Commit to action. This focuses on political and operational platforms, urging governments and the civic sector to establish a policy framework towards healthy aging, strengthening the capacity to formulate related policies and combat ageism. To this end, the Hong Kong government sets guidelines to age-related policies from objectives of sense of belonging, sense of security, and sense of worthiness in 1997 to the updated guidelines of aging in place as the core, institutional care as backup. The recent elderly service program plan, with the help of Department of Social Work and Social Administration at Hong Kong University, envisioned 10 principles in guiding elderly services policies, including active and productive aging, age friendliness, and age in place. Align health systems to the needs of older populations. Health systems should transform to enhance older adults' intrinsic capacities and thereby functional abilities, ensure affordable access to care, and develop a sustainable and appropriately trained health workforce. To this end, Hospital Authority issued a Strategic Service Framework for Elderly in 2012 with guiding principles to enhance well-being of older adults and to contribute to healthy aging by raising standards of health care. This framework introduced for the first time a focus on wellness, patients' transitions from hospital to communities, and close collaboration with non-hospital-related partners. Moreover, in 2015, Social Welfare Department's Navigation Scheme for Young Persons in Care Services provided employment and training for young people who are interested in working in either elderly care or rehabilitation services. Develop age-friendly environments. Here we focus on society, removing barriers that hinder older adults' autonomy and engagement, and promote multi-sectoral actions. To this end, the Hong Kong government launched multiple strategies in 2012 to help change the environment, including Public Transfer Fair Concession Scheme, also known as the $2 Scheme, and the Universal Accessibility Programme, which further enhanced accessibility to help older adults to move around with greater ease. Most recently in 2018, the Employment Programme for the Elderly and Middle Aged assisting older adults to integrate into workplaces. Strengthen long-term care. Long-term care should be sustainable and should not only be focused on the formal, employed workforce because informal caregivers are just as vital. A person-centered, integrated care should be promoted in the process. To this end, the mentioned aging in place as the core Institutional care as backup approach benefited older adults to age in place in the comfort of their homes. Improved measurement, monitoring, and research. Finally, healthy aging requires constant monitoring to ensure its effectiveness, and therefore, ways to measure, analyze, and describe health aging should be agreed upon by stakeholders. It is also worthwhile to strengthen research and innovation to build evidence of healthy aging. To this end, since the year 2000, the Social Welfare Department has implemented the Standardized Care Need Assessment Mechanism for Elderly Services, deploying the internationally recognized assessment to minimum data set home care to ascertain the care needs of older adults matching them with appropriate services. Also, the Innovation and Technology Fund 
supports the development of older adult-friendly technological products. Most recently in 2017, Community Care Fund supported the pilot scheme on home care and support for elderly persons with mild impairment, provided home care to low-income older adults with mild impairments.